Yeah, Can you hear me well? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. About your flag and the star name. This is on your flag. No, I will explain to you about our flag. Okay. So on the right side, you can see the mosque as we are doing the roundabout, and you can very clearly see it from here that it's built on the on the water. You asked me about our flag. Our flag is a red flag that has a five head star in in the middle. The five head star, it represents the five pillars of Islam, which I explained to you earlier. Ah, Before it was sense. the five head star, it used to be six head star, like the star of David. But after that, the, the royal family, they established it as a Muslim rule in the country, so okay. they turned it into a five head star to signify the five pillars of Islam. And the red color of the flag, it represents the blood of people who sacrificed for the country. Like in the U.S. In the U.S., the red color there, it signifies the blood of people who sacrifice for the country. Right. This is like whenever you see a red flag, a red color in a flag, it usually has the same meaning. Yes. So on the right side, we are driving through the coastline. Of course, what we see here is the Atlantic Ocean. In Morocco, we have both seas. We have the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. In Casablanca, we have the Atlantic Ocean. So it starts from Tangier going all the way down the south. This is all the Atlantic Ocean, which is known for surfing and for uh, kite surfing as well. And Casablanca, it's uh, some. I heard somebody asking if it's the capital. The capital is not Casablanca. The capital is Rabat. Rabat is the political capital. It's the place where the official residency of the king. And uh, it's where the government is, and most of the government uh, sectors they are in Rabat. While Casablanca, we call it the economic capital because it's the business city, it's uh, the business hub. It's also known as the finance center. Most of Moroccan leading companies and international businesses doing uh, international corporates doing business in the country, they all have their headquarters and main and the city of facilities located here in Casablanca. So this is a place for work, that's a place for job opportunities. And that's the reason that makes it the most populous city in Morocco. In the region of Grand Casablanca, we have a population of between 8 to 10 million people. And this is the most crowded city in all of Morocco. And in Morocco as a whole country, it, we have about 37 million people. Casablanca only have about 8 to 10 million. So there are, there are two events that happened in Casablanca, which because of them, Casablanca became internationally famous. Do you have any idea what those events were? No. Any idea? No. How do you know Casablanca? Uh, uh, Happy Boga movie, uh, Casablanca. The movie is one, correct? Yeah. This is one event. What about the second event? World War II. Something happened during the World War II, correct? I'm trying to what remember specifically. So the, uh, the first uh, event was the movie Casablanca, which was a classical movie that was filmed in 1942. It was filmed inside of a cafe called Greek's Cafe. We will see that later. And uh, uh, that's one of the main things that caused Casablanca to be famous. The next event happened one year later in 1943. There was a secret conference that happened here in Casablanca, which was the, arranged by the former King Mohammed V and people who were part of it they were Franklin Roosevelt which was the former American president and uh, Churchill the former English uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, together with some other leaders so they met here in Casablanca as a secret conference to, to uh, discuss the World War II so it was a secret conference called the Conference of UNFA if you wanted to google it so these are the two main events that happened here in Casablanca, which because of them, Casablanca became internationally famous. And here on the right side, there's a panoramic view. We will step down the bus to take a picture, and we will go there for only two minutes and return to the bus, please.
So family, this is the panoramic view. And here in Casablanca, you see a little bit of the old neighborhood, and then you see this modern, new, beautiful architecture. But the most important thing you always see is just things is in order, clean, and this looks good. Yeah, this is a great panor panoramic view. This is a panoramic view to the mall, also to the city. From here, you can see it very clearly that it's built on the water built on, upon the ocean. The mosque itself is claimed on the water. And this is the city of Casablanca. And behind the mosque over there, there is the port, which is uh, the second largest in Morocco. Is it expensive to live over there? Around this area, yes. This is How much one bedroom apartment? Uh, here there are mostly small apartments, which they call, which they cost around oh. 800 to 900 dollars a month, which is expensive for us because the minimum wage is $500 a month. So here it's almost double the minimum wage. They live right there, it's $800. But for American standards, it's, it's very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Because <laughs> this is a very good location. Do you have the Airbnb over here or just rent it? Yeah, there are many Airbnb. Mostly rental, but there are a lot of Airbnb. But the best view is behind the mall. 